butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? This one product that I found is like a miracle product. Like if you have any type of skin ailments, and I mean any type of blemishes, any type of discoloration, any type of like bumpy skin, those little tiny bumps on the back of your legs, on the back of your arms, if you suffer from any type of imperfection on your skin, this one product will cure you. Miracle product, I wish I invented it. It's a simple, easy, inexpensive product that literally cured my burns. Miracle. Quick story. Basically, I got the bright ideal one day to do a chemical pill. I have some scars on my legs from um, childhood. So I just wanted to get rid of it. And so the creams weren't working, the vitamin C wasn't working, the cocoa butter, coconut oil, none of that worked. So I was like, okay, let's get a little bit more aggressive. So I went for the chemical pill. I don't suggest anyone doing chemical pills at their house. No more, no more, no more foolishness. And I will also say, I would never do a chemical pill on my face. Like the face is off limits. I thought my legs would be a safe zone. Like what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? So I put it on and immediately it started burning. And when I say immediately, I'm like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, get this sh off of me. That's what had happened, like literally. <laughs> uh normally it's supposed to be on for like maybe five minutes ten minutes it was like two to three seconds on to mississippi i was like uh-uh we got to get it on we got to get it off so i went ahead i let it sit on there for like the the amount of time but immediately when i put on like the neutralizing solution i was like uh-oh uh-oh uh -oh, spaghetti -o. i was like we have a problem <laughs> immediately i was like this is not good <laughs> this madame is bad i just had an internal feeling like this is not going to be good because the pain was permeating through the bone like my bone marrow of my leg vibrating the whole leg and i was like this no i don't i don't think this is right the pain was excruciating walking was painful every time i took a step on that leg it was just vibrating pain my legs started feeling a little better the pain subsided a little bit and so i was like okay I'm good, but then I started to worry about the scarring because I knew I scar very easily, one, um, and I knew it was gonna be an issue. Like I knew it was gonna be a problem. So what happens when you do a chemical pill is it's like a layer of skin that browns up and then what happens is eventually it peels off and it reveals the new, the beautiful skin, right? The scarless skin. It's like it took off all that dead, ugly, scarred up skin and it revealed a beautiful layer of baby soft skin. Well, I knew that wasn't gonna happen this time. I was like, I'm gonna be in for trouble. I couldn't see what was underneath it, obviously, because it was a layer of skin, but I was like, this ain't gonna be good. It's so weird, like, look at it. The skin. It's like a cast over it. It won't come off. This is peeled off right here. So I immediately started tackling it. I went on to Amazon, I did my research, I went on to YouTube. I watched tons of videos of YouTubers that had um, like burns and scars and what they did to cure it, right? So I watched that, I went on to Amazon, I bought a lot of different products and I'll put some here, some of the products I use and uh, none of them worked. None of them worked, but I kept using it. I kept it moist. I kept the silicone covers on it and I used the silicone like lotion. I also used little patches, I did everything. So I wanted to make sure I took care of it while it was healing. Okay, so I'm using my light on my scars so there are the scars I don't know if you can see art so I'm using the red light once the skin after started peeling off it peeled off very light so I don't think I'm supposed to do this but I'm peeling off the peel ew
I'm not peeling this stuff off, but I'm peeling this off. I would not touch this because as you can see, it's scarring. So I'm just gonna leave this alone. But this part was like a little, I don't know how to explain it. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's ready, it's ready to come off. So we're peeling this off. It immediately on contact of the sun, obviously started darkening and then it got darker. So I went through a phase of being very light for a while, like a month, and then it got darker than my skin. And that's when I was like, let's jump into action. This is my miracle product. This guys is what has brought my legs back to life. So now I'm gonna show you the before and after. So this was the before. And this is the after. It's the after guys. Amazing. Crazy good, right? Crazy. I pulled this out one day, okay? Just out of a whim. Started using it every night, right? I started dry brushing my skin and the result in two weeks, amazing. Like my skin, well, you can't even tell that I was burnt. Like you can't, and I tried everything. And I will say you have to wait until your skin heals. Don't use a dry brush on skin that's not healed from whatever issue you have. That's like very important because you don't want to like re-damage your skin because what this is doing is it's actually like exfoliating the skin, getting the dead skin off. It's also um, bringing collagen and blood flow to the area. So it's, it works so good. It's such a simple product, but it's amazing at the results. So it definitely worked. I already know it works like on cellulite. It works on those bumps on the back of your legs. It gives you the most smooth, supple skin of your life. Like the dry brush really works phenomenal at just smoothing your skin and making it just look like this beautiful baby, soft, supple skin. It's really amazing at that. So I already knew that, but I didn't think it would cure like dark spots. So if you have dark spots, try this out. If you have like large pores, if you have like a bumpy skin, if you have ingrown hairs, this, this is going to be your best friend. Okay. $5, your bestie, use it every day. And you just maybe for five minutes, I do it at nighttime. I do it after I shower at night. I think it doesn't really matter the way you do it. Uh, uh, the only thing that matters is your consistency and also try to get the natural bristles. So if you try it, try the natural bristles because I don't know, the synthetic probably won't be as comfortable uh, as the natural, because the natural is a little bit more soft. And two, you don't want any like chemicals. Like I don't know how they make the bristles, like the fake bristles, but you don't want to be rubbing in chemicals on your body, you know? So probably I would go with the all natural bristles. But yeah, so that's what I did. I just want to do a quick video because I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of us out there that's suffering from skin issues. And honestly, if I would have picked this up and really been consistent with this on my shins, I wouldn't even have needed to do the whole chemical pill. That's a whole other thing. But it's always the little things that you have around your house that can cure stuff and you take it for granted, like baking soda. Baking soda has worked amazing on like lightening my teeth. But it's, and it's like what, a dollar for a big old thing of it, but yet like we go out and spend $50, $100, $200 on getting our teeth whitened or buying the like the little strips. And we could just use the $1 baking soda that's in all of our cabinets. It's stuff like that. That's like, it's so easy. It's almost too easy. So this is my baking soda. This is like so easy. It's too easy. And you forget all the many benefits that dry brushing has. Comment down below if you tried br dry brushing. Let us all know your results. And until next time, bye. And this thing is a miracle worker. And it goes a little yeah. something like... Oh,